It's quiet. On this afternoon, wind blows, birds chirp, and trees creak. But the area of what was once the St. Francis Dam is dead quiet. What is now the rushing of cars was once the rushing of water. A lot of water due to the dam's breakage in 1928. Over 400 lives were lost that day and an immeasurable amount of damage was done, affecting places even as far as Ventura. Looking for a memorial to honor those lost in that tragedy, Diane Hellriegel and Alan Pollock have dedicated over 12 years of their lives looking for something more than just rubble. Almost 100 years has passed since the disaster. Second largest disaster in California as far as life goes, loss of life. And it's about time that these people were respected and, you know, people walk through here, they bike through here, you know, they come and graffiti it and all kinds of things, and they have no idea what happened here. It's a huge story. It's an amazing story, and we want to get it out. We okay. want everybody to know. The only thing is that there is a memorial, but the memorial is, well, it's kind of small, and not to mention it's not that noticeable if you're driving by. The other thing, it's two miles away, but in the other direction. We now have this National Memorial and National Monument in the Santa Clarita area. That's a huge thing to have. Yeah. There's only two in the state of California, two national yeah. memorials. This is one of them now. So far, you see there's nothing at the site here. There's not, not even, even a, a sign. sign. <laughs> this, this, this national memorial deserves better. It deserves recognition. It deserves uh, a center where people can learn about the St. Francis Dam disaster. People just don't understand it. They don't know about it and they need to know. It's just a story that should have been told long ago and certainly should be told now. It, it's about time for us. For Canyons News, I'm George Luis Aguila.